Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the digital experience team uh, iteration planning a video. We'll be going over what we plan to work on for the next two week period. Um, first up is me. Uh, yeah, I got in there before Tyler this time. And uh, first up, I'll be doing the OneTrust uh, release this week. So my first couple of days will be focusing on making sure that that's all ready to go. Um, and then I have a couple of points allotted to various enterprise page changes. Uh, so linking the case study blocks to their respective case study pages, uh, replacing the hero graphic with a video, uh, and removing the free trial banner and demo button. Um, all of this is supposed to be happening in the new core marketing site. Uh, so making sure that that all is done. Uh, and then I added in a couple of points um, from a retro uh, conversation we had many weeks ago about the homepage promotion banner, uh, changing that to YAML so that other people can edit it whenever they want to. Um, if I have time, I'll work on that. Um, and next up is Tina. Thanks. Um, I'm going to get my head back into our data-driven content block for the home page. Um, that means completing and closing out the MVC1 design, um, finalize our recommendation for the first segments for MVC1, and maybe attempt to assign data points to each. I've also got a call set up with uh, you, Nathan, today, later this afternoon, so that we can kind of align on next steps. Um, Next, I'm going to get uh, take a look at that request for self-serve video updates on the blog homepage, which I think is a great idea and a quick win. Uh, I just took on the 10-year uh, uh, anniversary page. I'll just um, reserve like a point. It'll probably just be half a point to see how we can use the events template to um, achieve that page. Uh, I also want to follow up on the pricing page tooltip um, on a recommendation to replace that tooltip with a modal because I find it's causing a lot of UX issues. Um, I took a peek also in LogRocket and I see people are struggling with it. So that's cool. Thanks for showing that to me, Jess. Um, and the last two items are not a priority, but they're just going to kind of sit on the back burner and I'll plug away with them between tasks as I find a um, place for them. So I'll start to investigate um, comparator competitor comparisons. So Jess uh, shared that uh, homepage survey and it revealed that potential, like all the top competitors that our potential customers um, see as being competition. So I'd like to start um, seeing if and how they actually compare them to GitLab, uh, maybe using LogRocket also to see if they are using that crazy comparison table at the bottom of the page, things like that. And lastly, also on the back burner, um, but when I find time, I'll be working on it as we'll start looking at brand and UI. Uh, we discussed in our last uh, UX meeting that um, it's maybe time to audit where we can align brand and UI. So I'm gonna kind of take a look at stuff like illustrations and patterns and line weights and other kind of graphic elements to see if we can harness those uh, to tra and translate them into better UX and UI. And that's it, next is Tyler. Yeah, uh, three big things. We're going to really do it. We're going to get the new core marketing site architecture in production. Uh, so big task for me will be making that work. Uh, and then as a demo of, not a demo, a practical application of that, um, we're going to get the enterprise page uh, uh, merged into the next site, uh, along with some of these changes folks have talked about and will talk about. And uh, that 10 year anniversary page is going to get built to next and pushed up that way. Uh, and I've reserved some time to take a look at one trust uh, for Laura early on. So uh, yeah, uh, big moves. And Parker. Okay, I have a follow up from adding um, Google Analytics tracking to our modal videos. So I'm gonna take a crack at that again. We have 10 more solution page migrations. So I'm going to start getting those across, adding them to CMS and iterating on that template. Um, none of the TOC links are working on our blog posts, so I'm going to take a look at that, see what works, make it work. Um, migrate the small business page over to the core marketing site. So that'll be taking what we have from the enterprise page and just building on that template. And then a couple enterprise buyer experience changes. Um, I'm just going to make an AMR and try to see what happens if we make the nav text larger, just so we can all see what it looks like in the review apps, go from there, and then make a nav change, um, switching the position of the enterprise small business page nav items. And Jess. All right, so I'm going to reserve some time to both investigate and mock up if necessary um, updates for the features comparison table, as well as the enterprise page and possibly some navigation updates. 
Um, I'm also going to keep working on the stages of the DevOps lifecycle page, which I'm also working with brand and uh, content to get that one going. Uh, Nathan, you're up. Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, the enterprise page and the core marketing site. So it's almost ready to go. I'm just going to make sure it looks exactly like it does currently. So I'll try and get that merged in today. Um, and then after that, just aligning that the navigation is the same as well. Um, and then as just mentioned, the features comparison table. So I'm going to start on that next week. Uh, I'm out of office Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week. So I took a bit less and I think there's going to be some things that pop up, at least as we try and get the next thing set up. So I'll leave some points available. Uh, and then there's just uh, some inconsistencies between the feature comparison table and the pricing page. So just making sure that they're aligned and that the features are in the right, right places. But I think that's it. Yeah, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.